Yeah, it's, we're rolling, but we just want to say the okay. name. Okay, Esmeralda Luna. Esmeralda Luna, okay. You might want to get, shall we get to your, to your, to your right? Get a, go over here? No, you go to my, you go to my left. Oh. I think, that would be better. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so Esmeralda, tell us about your experience. You were crowned Señorita Zacatecas. 2010? 2010, 2011. Tell us about your experience and um, what, ha what, what was your experience like? Um, and what does a, somebody that wins this title, what does she get? Uh, well, my experience was something beautiful because uh, I was able to further expand my knowledge and my culture. Uh, Señorita Zacatecas learned a little bit more about the state of Zacatecas, about all the municipios it consists of. Uh, municipios would be, if we compare Zacatecas to California, municipios would be the county. Uh, so I was able to learn a lot more, um, go into the music, the culture, uh, the food. Uh, and why it's a beautiful experience is because you get to share uh, your passion for your country for your home state with other young girls your age and it's just a beautiful thing. And how old are you and um, what city do you live in in Ventura County? I am 21 years old and I live in Oxnard, California. So when you, what do you, what, when you first entered the contest, what did you think it was going to be like? Uh, well, my sister had participated the year before so I was a bit familiar with the contest already. Uh, so the following year they start looking for new girls that are also from Zacatecas and because my sister had done it already uh, and I'm also from Zacatecas so they thought I would be a great contestant so they asked me to come on board and I said yes. Great and so what do you think that would be a good opportunity for a woman to gain by entering this contest? Uh, well, again, you learn a lot from uh, your home state, uh, but you also gain a lot of friends. I'm friends with a lot of the girls that participated, uh, with the people that sponsor the club. And, uh, just, you know, they teach you how to walk, how to talk, how to speak in public, and, you know, a lot of confidence. If, you know, someone needs to participate, and they say, oh, well, I don't have public speaking skills. You know, they'll teach you how to speak in public, how to not be nervous, how to walk in heels, how to smile in front of the camera. So it's a great experience. So were you a little um, nervous before in the past, you know? Uh, well, I think it's always a nerve-wracking experience where you're going to go out there and perform in front of somebody. But for me, I don't think it was that bad. I like speaking in public, and I had actually done Señorita Fiestas Patrias, which is almost a similar thing. Um, and I was queen for that one, 2009-2010. Great. Um, what, are you, what are you up to in your career and in your life? Um, what is it that you do in, uh, in your profession? Uh, well, right now I currently work for the county, uh, but my goal right now I'm actually attending Latin American Bible Institute um, along with my husband and we're working on our minister degree. We actually want to pass our own church. Oh wow, that's awesome. Well, and did you, do you guys get to travel to Zacatecas while you're, is it, is it part of, what, is, what does the contestant win besides everything else that you mentioned? Okay. Well, I won a money prize, um, also we won a well, I won a trip, an all paid for trip to Zacatecas for two weeks uh, in which the hotel is paid for, the food is paid for, breakfast, lunch and dinner, uh, your air flight to and from and you get to meet with the governor and just different people from the state um, and you get to go with different girls from Texas, Chicago, different parts of California. So that was part of the package. Nice. And what, what, do, what do you say for your personal experience was the most challenging, um, like you didn't think you were going to, you, you, that you gained, like it was challenging for you, but you really ended up learning a lot and getting stronger at it. What? Uh, I think the Spanish, um, I grew up speaking Spanish at home, but it wasn't so much fluent Spanish where I would feel so comfortable going out there in public and speaking to someone that is native from the country. Uh, but just speaking to other people that have participated and uh, the people that per put on the show, I was able to pick up more words in Spanish. So I think that for me was a learning experience and it helped me a lot also. Awesome.
Okay, so now we're gonna do the Spanish. I'll just ask you like two questions, and so we'll continue. <coughs> so Esmeralda, que eh, dado que tu coronación fue en 2010. ¿Con qué te vas um, con esta experiencia tan bonita siendo señorita Zacatecas 2010? Uh, me voy con una bonita experiencia porque me voy satisfecha sabiendo que he aprendido bastante en el concurso y he podido participar en eventos para poder ayudar a nuestros compatriotas en Zacatecas y me siento muy satisfecha. ¿Y a quién le dirías a las jovencitas que están participando y tal vez a las que no saben de este concurso? ¿Cómo las pueden desarrollar? ¿Cómo pueden beneficiar y desarrollar de este concurso? Ah, bueno, las que están participando van a participar hoy. Les deseo la mejor suerte, que ganen la mejor, uh, que brillen, que tomen su tiempo, uh, caminen despacio, hablen despacio, saluden al público, sonríen mucho. Y a las muchachas que están interesadas en participar y no están muy seguras si deberían de participar o no, uh, les aconsejo que traten, que se comuniquen con el comité uh, Club Zacatecanos, Federación de Condado Ventura, para que se animen y puedan aprender un poco más de Zacatecas, como es Zacatecas y uh, es, un, es una manera de fortalecer sus vínculos de identidad, ya sea estadounidense, zacatecano o puro zacatecano y van a tener una bonita experiencia. ¿Y a qué te dedicas? Y, eh, ahorita, ¿qué va a ser, ¿en qué te vas a enfocar este nuevo año? Este nuevo año actualmente uh, estoy trabajando yendo a la escuela uh, los dos tiempo completo, entonces sigo muy ocupada. Uh, pero uh, seguir trabajando, yendo a la escuela y espero graduarme pronto. Y háblame de poquito de um, tus planes con tu esposo que estaba muy inspirada, inspirada por eso. Uh, actualmente uh, estoy atendiendo al Instituto Bíblico uh, LABI, que es un instituto bíblico que se localiza en La Puente. Estoy en una extensión aquí en Santa Paula y planeo adquirir mi licencia ministerial con mi esposo para poder abrir la iglesia Bueno, muchas gracias por tu entrevista y uh, te, te deseamos lo mejor del de, de mundo en todas tus cosas personales y profesionales. Muchas, muchas gracias. Okay.